வணக்கம் ஆல்ஸ் கோம்ஸ் ஹியர் ஃப்ரம் கியூபன் ஸ்கொயர் ஒன் ஆஃப் அவர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட் அட்டண்டட் த இன்டர்வியூ எஸ்டர்டே ஹி அட்டண்டட் ஃபார் த பொசிஷன் ரெட் ஆட் ஓப்பன் ஷிஃப்ட் ஸ்பெஷலிஸ்ட் ஹி ஹேஸ் அரௌண்ட் டூ பாயிண்ட் ஃபைவ் இயர்ஸ் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் ஓவர் ஆல் அண்ட் த ரெலவன் வுட் பி அரௌண்ட் ஒன் பாயிண்ட் எயிட் அண்ட் ஹி ஹோல்ஸ் த ரெட் ஆட் ஓப்பன் ஷிஃப்ட் ஸ்பெஷலிஸ்ட் ஆஸ் வெல் த சர்டிஃபிகேஷன் ஐ மீன் அண்ட் ஹி ஜஸ்ட் கால் டு ஷேர் த இன்டர்வியூ கொஸ்டின்ஸ் அண்ட் வென் ஐ went through the interview questions seems like the questions are pretty straight forward most of the questions are directly from the devo to wait so as he got certified recently it was pretty uh, easy for him to answer those only uh, one or two questions are outside devo to wait like uh, they wanted to understand whether the candidate has some knowledge towards red hat open shift virtualization they are ready to train them uh train the candidates but they just wanted to understand whether uh, at least the candidates can give a overview on red hat open shift virtualization and then on the jenkins and open shift integration as well so here i am just sharing you all the questions whatever has been shared it's around uh, 15 to 20 questions apart from that i'm also just sharing you on how how to deploy an application using jenkins uh integrate open shift and deploy on that so to start with the jenkins and open shift integration we would need the jenkins image and that too we need a jenkins image which contains the oc cli tool because when i run the jenkins pipeline that will connect to the open shift and it has to use the open shift oc cli command to deploy the application so i have uh, created a simple deployment.yaml and i have kept it in Uh, the github repository which i'll be calling in the jenkins pipeline so uh, the first thing is i need the jenkins image which contains that right and by default i didn't find any jenkins image with uh, oc tool so we have uh, two options okay one is i can create a docker file with jenkins and oc cli tool that is the first option okay like this the docker file will be like this so wherein i am just downloading the uh, basic uh, jenkins image and after that i am switching to root user then i'll be creating i mean i'll be installing the oc cli tool so after having this i can build this customized image which will contain jenkins with the oc cli tool that is first option and then what i can do is i can just push this particular customized image to my registry and i can use that Okay, uh, in this way, right? I mean, I have to go with this way. Docker dot ivo slash cuban square slash Jenkins ivan oc. So that's the image I have, customized image I have. If you wanted to use it, you can make use of that. The other option is I can also mount it. Okay, I can use the mount option like this with hyphen v, the volume one, wherein I am mounting the oc binaries while I run my container. That is the next option. So in this case, I have used this option to mount it. so i have created a jenkins container and the port number i have exposed is 8080 so let me just open that so i'll just go with uh, local host colon 8080 so i have already installed the required plugins and i have created a username called gomes as i'm repeating this is just a very simple pipeline just to show you how we can uh, integrate jenkins and open shift mainly the authentication part because in real time we have multiple scenarios which will include for high availability or i need to deploy a banking related applications or uh, a payment related applications or i wanted to run a maintenance script using jenkins i wanted to connect from here to red hat open shift and do the things or i have a l1 team who do not have direct access to the servers rather they will be given the jenkins access i mean restricted access so whenever there is a new request they just need to log into the jenkins console point out to the respective uh, build job name and build it that's it in case of any errors if that error is given in the documentation along with the solution they can follow that yes they just need to create a ticket and assign to the l2 team so that they can come and solve it right that is the main intention of having the l1 team 
they will be less than two years of experience that is why we cannot risk by giving uh, the production access so that's why we used to do this so now when it comes to jenkins the first part what we have to do is we need to have the respective plugin installed so i'm just going to manage jenkins plugins and i have already installed it so it is available in installed plugin okay for the first time you can look at this openshift client jenkins plugin in available plugins tab and after that the next part is i need to make sure that from jenkins i am able to connect to openshift so i used uh, the oc who am i command oc who am i hyphen t command to get the token and after fetching the token i just given those informations in the credential so in credentials what i have done is i have created as a secret text file and i have given the information and the id name i have just referred as openshift token because i need to refer this id in my jenkins pipeline right and done this is done and after that just a very simple pipeline i'll just uh, show here configure i've just added here okay uh, just to uh, make it easier what i'll do is i'll just copy this and put it in a text editor so that you'll be able to view that easily because scrolling this is bit difficult process i'll put this in a text editor for your reference okay you can see that i have called in the environment variable with uh, the api url openshift url wherein i pass on through the api server then openshift underscore token the credential id which i uh, showed a few minutes back and then my project name i created as jenkins integration then we uh, log in to the openshift and then the main command would be this okay after logging in i use a command oc apply hyphen f with the uh, github repository url so when we use the github repository url directly we have to use uh, use it this way okay directly you cannot use as uh, github.com slash your uh, id slash uh, the deployment.yml that will not work out you have to use it this way if you are directly calling it in your jenkins pipeline so by running this pipeline after building this we just get the results as success i have just built it already so you can see the success message i, I did got few errors and I, i just fixed it so you can see now it has created a deployment in the name of sample app and it is success in case if it is failure you need to look at the errors uh, and fix it accordingly so once done when you come and check here your application should be running okay probably i would have deleted or it is in a different uh, namespace you can see here sample app i had given a uh, couple of replicas so i have this and let us check the deployment as well done okay this is how we integrate you can use the similar sequence for uh, creating any other jenkins pipeline as well